welcome back to the Brianna and Devin toy channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a custom skin for your laptop. And basically, I was planning to make a video showing you guys the new skin I bought off of Amazon for my HP laptop. And I know probably a lot of you guys have like Apple laptops and those definitely work too. But this one is an HP because my family uses non-Apple products for some reason. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY skin for your laptop. And that's because I tried to go on Amazon and find a skin that would fit on my laptop. And literally none of them were for this exact model. And I actually bought one and I filmed a video of me opening it and putting it on my laptop. But it was too small, so I ended up like deleting that video. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. So basically, all, right, all you're gonna need for this DIY is, well, one, a laptop, two, some blank white pieces of printer paper. You're also gonna need a printer or have ac access to a printer so you can print out your skins, and also some scissors and something to um, draw out some lines. So yeah, basically the first step for this is to go on to your laptop because we're going to print out whatever um, skin you want. Basically you can get any type of skin, any type of background, and basically you're just going to find an image of what you want your skin to look like. Alright, so here I have found my background that I want. It could be any shape because we could just stretch it out. And also, I'm so sorry about the background noises because I have Coco, my guinea pig, running around in the background and it is literally pouring outside. So, sorry about that. But just take your background and we're gonna go ahead and copy the image. And then you're gonna go ahead to your Google Drive. And if you don't have a Google Drive, you could also use like Microsoft Word and stuff like that. But I have Google Drive and I opened up a new doc and then you're just gonna go ahead, paste your image into here, and you basically just wanna go ahead and make it the full size of your page because you want this to cover the whole page. So this is definitely gonna take a lot of colored ink, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So, yeah. So basically just rearrange this and I would do wrap text so it fits on the page. And you basically just want to kind of stretch it out and basically make it fit the whole page as best as you can. Okay, so this kind of took me a while to figure out, but basically, since you want the whole image to cover the whole page, you have to go to File after you put the image down, go to Page Setup. And then you have to make sure the margin for the top is zero inches because if you make it one inch then you'll have like a gap of white at the top and you want to make sure the whole image covers the whole page so yeah and then once you have your whole image covering the page and i don't know why this is here but i don't think it'll be there for when we print it just go to print and for this, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go with two copies. And I went ahead and printed that, I think. Okay, so I went ahead and printed out both of these. And wow, it took a lot of ink. So just make sure that you have enough colored ink if you want to do this. But basically now I have both of these and I realized that there's a white border around both of them even though I've selected the margins to be zero but that's okay because now if you have a paper cutter you just want to make sure you cut off those white edges if you have those and then if your computer is kind of curved like mine is then you want to go ahead and curve the edges so that is exactly what I'm going to do. I also forgot to mention, but you do need tape as well for this DIY. Okay, so now once you have cut out both of your pieces, you actually don't have to round off one of them unless um, your computer is small enough to fit it, but mine is a little bit bigger and there are computers that are even bigger. So if yours is even bigger, you might also need to cut out a third page. But anyway, now since I do not have a clear case, 
since there were none that fit my computer type on Amazon, believe it or not, I'm going to have to use some clear duct tape. And if you have a clear computer case, then this will be a lot easier and you probably won't need any tape. But if you're like me, then you will. So basically, just kind of position your first piece of paper um, and make sure it's touching the edge where the computer opens up. And then you want to take a little piece of tape and just tape it down. And you really don't need strong tape for this because this is just kind of kind of keep it down until we tape it over. And also, forgot to mention, but if you want your computer um, logo to show, you can also cut out like a circle for that as well. Okay guys, so this is how it is looking so far. I kind of just drew out a rough circle to fit around the HP logo and I retaped everything because yeah, that's the next step. And I only used one small piece of tape here, but now we need to fix the outer edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece and for this particular design, the there's a green here and also green here. So I'm basically just gonna measure it out a little bit and just basically use a ruler and a pencil and just kind of draw a line down and then cut it off with my paper cutter of the green so I can paste it right here with my tape. And then I'm also gonna do the other side with the pink. So draw a line down this side and then tape it here. So then the only thing we'll have to work with is the top section. Okay guys, so I have my two pieces cut out. This is what they look like. I cut them off of this other piece of paper that I had. And so basically now I'm just gonna line up the colors the best I can and just kind of overlap it very slightly on this side. Again, really sorry for the background noises. It's like so rainy right now. Yeah, Devin's in the background too, so. But anyway, now we just have this piece to cover and for that, I'm basically just gonna use the remaining parts of what I have here. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough because as you can see, I only have this much, but I'm probably just gonna cut off something from this side and just paste it there. We'll figure it out. But now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out and draw a line here and just cut this part out so I can paste it there. Okay, so now I have these two little pieces cut out and I'm basically now just gonna go ahead and tape them where they need to be taped. All right, so now all of the pieces are on the laptop. All right guys, so I moved places as you can see because Oh my gosh, the storm was so bad that the power went out. So I'm just relying on natural lighting now. I'm right in front of the window, so let's just see if this works. Devin is here as well. But this is what the computer is looking like so far. I'm actually in love with this, but I do need to kind of round off some of the edges. All right, so now all of the edges are curved and I accidentally cut off way too much on this side, but I don't really think you can tell, which is a good thing. But now I actually decided that I'm gonna put pictures of like my pets, my family, my friends on here. So, but the power is out right now, which means my printer isn't working. So I'm gonna have to print those once the power goes back on. But basically I just went to my Google Drive and I added in pictures from my phone that I just wanted to be on here. And you don't have to do this, this is just an extra step, but I really wanted to customize this and make it my own, so that is why I'm gonna add those pictures. All right, so now that the top of my computer is kind of done and ready to just be, you know, taped up and stuff like that, I am now deciding to cover up these two areas of the inside of my computer and this area and a little bit up here as well because that's what it looked like when I was trying to order it off of Amazon but like I said it didn't work out but I'm just gonna use the rest of what I have here to kind of just create shapes that will hopefully fit nicely over here in these areas so basically I'm just gonna cut out two squares for here and a long strip here and one down here Okay guys, so after quite some time later, I definitely did it, and here's what it looks like. I actually kind of ran out of paper. 
this is basically what I have left of both those sheets of paper. So I kind of had to fix some things. I added a blue strip here and then I, this one wasn't long enough. So, oh, that's just Daisy. So make sure you get your measurements right before actually trying to do this. So actually I've decided to go ahead and just tape this section first because I'm not gonna put any stickers or anything over here, I don't think. So yeah, basically I'm gonna take some duct tape and you could use the smaller tape, but it'll probably take a lot of time. So I definitely recommend using this tape if you have it but the smaller tape will work. Yeah, basically, all you wanna do is just basically laminate the whole computer, and that's what I'm gonna do. Only where there are um, these paper spots, though, so. That is what I'm going to do and I'll get back to you guys once everything is taped up and secured to the computer. Okay guys, so it is the next day and unfortunately I could not print out anything yesterday because the power was out the whole day. But the power is back on. I don't know if you can tell by the sound of the air conditioning, but it is back on. But yeah, so basically I just printed out um, some pictures that I wanted to be on my laptop and they're just very miscellaneous pictures. You can also use Polaroids for this, but this is what it looks like, and I really like how it turned out. But we're not done yet because I still need to cover it with some duct tape because um, the pictures would just fall off. And if you're wondering, I first laid it out, like all the pictures and how I wanted it to look, and then I used some of this um, small tape to just tape on uh, all of them on the back. But now I'm just gonna basically, just like we did in the inside of the computer, I'm just gonna take some tape and lay it across all the pictures. All right guys, so I finished up um, with the laptop and just taping on everything and this is how the finished product looks. I'm absolutely in love with this. Like, I can't believe I actually made this and I didn't have to buy it. This literally costs nothing if you already have the materials at home. Like, all you need is printer paper, um, a printer to print out stuff, but you don't even need a printer. And yeah, this is just awesome and a great way to customize your own laptop. So that is what the outside looks like. This is what the inside looks like also pretty cool and you can even like put it up around here and stuff like that but I just felt like that was good enough for my computer but yeah I really enjoyed doing this DIY hopefully it gave you some inspiration to customize your own laptop and I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel to see more fun videos like this one and once you've done that, click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And you can also comment down below any video suggestions or anything you want. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!